Hi, this is Rich from Lower West Side Studio, and today we're going to have a look at the CGS49 Dual CMOS or WASP filter by Catgirl Synthesizers. Uh, this is a fantastically different filter. It offers a real buzz sort of distortion sound, uh, probably how it got its name from the, the WASP synthesizer. Um, there are two channels. Uh, each with uh, frequency resonance, the so distortion control, control voltage level for the positive CV in. The negative CV in is not attenuated. And then each uh, channel has low pass, band pass, high pass, and notch. You've got uh, a spread CV, which basically spreads the control voltage positive and negative between the two filters as well, giving you a really sort of bizarre kind of sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive the uh, the, oscill or the the filter with a Q106 oscillator from synthesizers.com. Okay, so we're going to start with channel 1 here. I'm running the two outputs into an Oakley Multimix mixer and I'm going to bring up channel 1 here. We're using an Oakley uh, uh, Classic VCA as an amplifier. And that's all that's in this uh, this patch. So I'm going to just bring the frequency up a bit on channel 1. And as you hear, we get our, our, our buzzy little sound. So now, I'm going to bring up the resonance. You get a kind of low-pass hump there when you bring the resonance up. Then we'll bring up the distortion level. Now as the distortion increases, there is a perceived loss in gain. Switch the passives. You get your really kind of buzzy sound there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a low frequency signal from this uh, Pi 9720, take a, uh, I guess, a ramp patch it into the control voltage. So now I'm going to bring in a, um, I'm going to bring in a ramp uh, signal into the input number two. We'll bring that up in the mix. We'll bring number one down first of all. Hang on. So now we're listening to, uh, to filter number two. Back up. 
There you have it, the CGS49 Dual Wasp Filter from Ken Stone's Cat Girl Synthesizers. Uh, it's available as a PCB from either synthcube.com or modularattic.com, both fantastic companies to deal with. And uh, I'm Rich, and this is Lower West Side Studio, and keep on modulating. <laughs>